Welcome everyone. Today I want to walk you through this blog post which is called DAX plus UDF, UDF for User Defined Functions, the React of Power BI. And basically I will explain you why I believe that with this new addition of user defined functions, it was the missing piece to create something React like within Power BI. Let's start by talking a bit about what React is. So basically when it comes to HTML, when you develop a modern web page, you don't really write every time all the HTML as we see here. What we do when in web development is actually create components which are something like templates or skeletons that will with already predefined properties where we inject properties, in this case props, so they are displayed and you don't have to create each and one of them individually. Now, this behavior can be replicated now in Power BI with the power of user-defined functions for creating what would be your component. And then also the use of DAX and one very specific function, which is called concatenate X to iterate through the data table that you would like, and it will make the display of the components. Okay, so let me let's let's go and let me walk you through it. So the first thing that we are going to need is Open Power BI. We need to make sure that you go to Options and Settings, and in Options you need to make sure to have a, turn on the Preview feature of User Defined Functions. Remember that this is uh, something which just came and this is still in Preview, so you need to turn it on. Uh, if you haven't, you when you turn it on, you need to reset Power BI, so you need to close it and reopen it so it can be active. The first thing that we are going to do is that we need a very simple data table. I will copy the data table that we have in the blog post. I will go to modeling and in modeling, I will select new table. This will be a DAX table. And I have created this DAX table, which contains three different columns, products, units, and target. And we have four different values. If we go to the table view, we are able to see what it contains or how the table looks like. Now, the next step, and let's just make this on a split screen. And let's just give Power BI a bit more of a space. And the next step is that we are going to create our component BI UDF. For this, we will go to the DAX view. We are going to paste our user defined function. And let me explain you a bit what we are doing in here. So basically, our function is expecting three different uh, components. And in this case, it would be the props of a function in React. And we are expecting product, which is a string. We are expecting units and target, which both are numeric. And this will be injected in, a, in each, every time our component is passed and displayed, and it will be injected on different parts of the HTML. So in this case, you will see how we are uh, injecting this on different parts of the HTML. And this, this will be our component. I will update the model for the changes and I will click on update model. Now we have our function and we see it in here. The function, in this case, the component is named build guard. Now, the next thing that we are going to do is that we need to create the concatenate X function. Basically for this, we will go back to our uh, report view and in the report view, I will create a new measure and this new measure I will just paste the measure and this paste will be named, this function, uh, this measure will be named KPI cards. So basically what we are doing in here is that we are going to use the concatenate X and we are concatenating uh, the, the table that we are iterating through is the table, which is called cards, which we define here at the top. This tag cards uh, table is basically the products table plus one column, which is called HTML. This HTML column is using the build card component or function in this case, right? Let's see and let me show you how this uh, table looks like. So let me copy it. I will go back to DAX, to the DAX view. And in the DAX view, uh, I will create a new query. And in here, I will use evaluate and I will paste it. Let me run it. And here you will be able to see how our HTML table looks like. So basically what we have created is a table that contains an additional column. And this is exactly the same function, 
but now with the data that we pass for every column. Now, the next thing that we are going to do is that we need our HTML content uh, visual, and I will plug in, in here the KPI cards. And now you see that we have our nice looking KPI cards, which were created using user defined functions as a way of creating a component, which is React Lite component, and then use via a measure. This measure was built using concatenate X, which basically is concatenating and creating one element or one card using the component and the data of the table, which in this case, the table is the cards table. Okay, so I know that this was probably a lot to digest. I will uh, obviously leave here the video. You can go and take a look at the blog post, which I also added in the blog post. I also added in here an option for a full HTML table because it is not only about creating cards, you can also create tables. And I believe that this will be only the start of looking a very, very complete ecosystem within Power BI and the user defined functions to see a lot more very, very nice examples. I am really looking forward to see what the community is, gain inspiration. I really hope that this serves as a base for uh, doing uh, a lot more with HTML within Power BI. As always, if you like this video, please do not forget to like, share, or subscribe, and also leave me your comments, which I always take a look at them and try to respond. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.